Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so I would have made it in time. Yeah, it was just like gray screen for like a, a solid 30 seconds. I just said toss it back here. We'll go ahead and chat while we wait for these two players to set up. So we got Mario versus Peach, Mushroom Kingdom Brawl, Anti versus Ling Ling. Who you got, man? Anti obviously is the favorite here between these two players. Ling Ling has put in so much work. Um, he was a threat even in Smash 4, so 60-40. 40% Ling Ling, 60% Anti. But right now, Ling Ling's trying to make me change my mind. Do you see how he is moving? Do you see this damage? All right, I, yeah. I lied, 80-20, 80-20 Ling Ling. <laughs> that was quick. You just needed 30 seconds to change your bet. You know, Trying yep. to save some money, not spend it. Right? Hey, man. That's, <laughs> sometimes you got to surrender. This might be one of them. So, yeah, I haven't really seen Anti play a lot of Mario. He seems to be playing like everybody but Mario, trying to get off of this character. Sometimes you got to bring it back to your roots. And he's doing that right now. And he's like, it doesn't get much more to your roots than that. Literally, Mario is normally saving the princess, but this time escorting her off the top of the blast zone. Like, listen, man, he didn't forget. It's like, you left me on the moon? You left me on the goddamn moon? There ain't no oxygen there. Yeah, you go see what it's like. <laughs> All right, so, you know, Ling Ling, he started off so strong, but Anti's conversion, Anti's composure, just so proficient, just so dominant. I kind of feel like that's what separates a good Mario from a great Mario. It's good Mario's, they, they play the neutral really well, they mix you up really well, and they kill you at 150. Great Mario's play the neutral really well, and then make you explode with combo jank or an F-Smash read. Yeah. Like, this character isn't really one that can, like, deal with you once you're at 150%. Then it's just straight hits. So if you do not actually clean the stock off early, you're going to have to deal with the fact that you're scrapping against the top tiers with better neutrals than you. They definitely are scrapping right now, that's for sure. Oh, Please speaking don't. of scrapping, 49. What, oh, wait, an anti returns a favor, 49 right back. Hey, those beat strings are sick, and we all have seen the switch clips there, but anti showing, yo, you ain't the only one who's got them combo strings. Uh, this looks familiar. I've seen this story before. Around this percent, when he started getting juggled to the top and dying to a down air, yeah, anti is it. looking. And a uh, good air dodge for Ling Ling. Yeah, a little bit out of that percent. Anti is starting to fish a little bit, a little overzealous, and uh, Ling Ling starting to make him pay for it. Great fireball, though, but it, uh, that's kind of strange. He hit with the fireball and then immediately air dodged. He chose a defensive option after hitting with the offensive option. Maybe he thought that uh, Ling Ling was going to hit a button, so he preemptively was air dodging. Who knows? But I do know this much. Anti not just took that stock. 47, 56. Don't do it to him. I felt that forward air in my bones. I'm sitting there like, yo, I want it for you, Anti. Please, get me with the Twitch clip. Is he a genius? Ling Ling went for exactly one counter on Anti's recovery. And the one time he did it, Anti recovered high with an up B and just free fell to lift. What? Yeah, how do you read that option? That is something else. Anti already sneaking and searching for those up smash. Cross up down air, though. Force Ling Ling off stage. A little bit of flood. No, but Ling Ling was very smart there. Did not hit a single button because you know Anti was looking for that forward air. Instead, gonna dash out and dash back in with the up smash, the Mario Classic. Don't you jump out of shield. That was two. That was a two stock. That was so quick. Ling Ling really started strong stock one. Anti just really opened up on him. Yeah. And I just realized we were at our wall is back. <laughs> I know. I think they came like in the middle of the match and were like, what? Yeah, this wasn't. All right. <laughs> we got a magic trick for you guys right after the set. Don't worry. Keep your eyes locked here. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Lincoln taking a moment to consider his counter pick and just compose himself. I, I do think that that's kind of one of those times where, yeah, take a moment, take a deep breath, and just think for just a wee bit. But yeah, it doesn't look shook. Anti always sitting up there confident as ever. This is a man who thinks every time he picks up the sticks that he is guaranteed top eight. Whether and he plays the game or not. Yeah, exactly. I've seen him enter a Street Fighter tournament before. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him go up to friendlies and be like, yo, where's my $5? Like, yeah. That wasn't a money match. I never agreed to that. It's like you did now. <laughs> what you want to play next? I don't care. Immediately, this, is, this man's at like 7% and Nanda's already swing with a forward air. Like, listen, I got a message to send. One-way trip down to the blast zone. I mean, that's what Anti does best, essentially. You know, he's, he's always trying to jeopardize your stock no matter what the percent is. Just put the fear of God into him. And it makes it very, very scary because of it. So it seems like the way that Anti's been approaching this matchup is just, yeah, out of shield up airs, try to call out any kind of like float ins with back air, 
And then Fireball. Fireball's actually been a really good tool for Anti in this match because Peach is normally the one forcing a Protoss, but now it's kind of Anti. Yep. But with that said, Ling Ling, you know, is definitely holding his own at the moment. Huge lead, 132 put on the Anti. That's dead. Looking to end this stock, and he does do it. Ling Ling pretty healthy right now, only at orange. 53.2% right now, Anti trying to close this gap quickly. I'm actually really interested in what the fans were. I really do feel like Final D is kind of Mario's worst stage. This is a character that absolutely loves platforms, thrives on them, and needs them for combo extensions. You're not going to see those crazy combos that you saw game one here on Final D. I, I, I just don't know what the fan might have been. Maybe we're asking him next. Who knows? If, if we remember, you know, that's going to be part of it. All right, attempting to go ahead and intercept Peach's up with his own, but the in bone comes in clutch. Ling Ling tossing them hips out with abandon. That back air is really doing a great job snuffing out Anti's options. Oh, do it twice. Yeah, just tap that shield. Nah, I got something for you. And I guess that was smart because, you know, when you charge that long and then you actually release and your opponent shields it, they're expecting you to go on the defensive. They're like, all right, he, he bet it all, did not work. He's going to shield. He's going to be afraid. Ling Ling tried to advance forward, and Anti greeted him again with another up smash. Yeah, I mean, aggressive. You might want to choose a defensive option, but this is Mario after all. That up smash kind of nice. Just do it. Repetition, the key to success. Ah, you are correct. Hopefully you're repeating the right thing. Right now, Anti is trying to repeat, taking these stock calls. Ling Ling is like, no, no, me, I'm stopping this. This back air usage has just been fantastic as a combo breaker, recognizing when Anti's combo strengths aren't safe on hit. And at low percent, yeah, just toss it out. It really does a great job of intercepting every aerial that Mario has, with the exception of back air. Oh, and again, it. Not able to take it quite yet. Ling Ling looking to finish his plate, though. Gonna try yet again. Reading everywhere. Anti goes nowhere is safe, my guy. Option coverage. 33% to 170. Just about anything Ling Ling has will kill. Just like them hips. Hits don't lie. No, sir. Making Shakira proud. Oh, oh no, are you oh, dead? Oh, okay. It was a fake. It was it was a plot to, you know, a false sense of security for Ling Ling. Okay, what do we got cooking? 71 tacked on already, anti. He is very clutch, and that was the best space down tilt I've seen in my life from Ling Ling. I actually like held my breath there. I really thought that forward smash hit. I I almost want to instant replay to make sure that no, no one cheated there. Check the man, he's got a pro controller. Yeah, come on. Turbo was... control. 103 put on Ling Ling. Anti trying desperately to find a way to end this stock. That was actually it right there. I don't know if he purposely did it. I think he accidentally he reverses up B and had to cancel it to grab ledge. Yeah. All the Peaches nowadays, though, they've become a lot better at that. In Smash 4, we saw a lot of them up B the wrong way and die for it. This time around, everyone's pretty good about changing it up. Like, hey, I know to free fall to make sure I don't die. I can grab it back. And we're at that part of the game where Anti's making love to that C-Stick. Mash, up smash, down smash, up smash, and again. Is anything, Ling Ling, please run into these meaty hitboxes that Anti's tossing out. Even but, down air at this point. Yeah, grounded down air will not kill on the stage, but that will do it. Back throw just barely. Could have used a pummel or two right there. Anti definitely in a poor position right now. This is Ling Ling's game to win. Anti, though, is trying to fight back. He's saying, just for the record, this isn't over. All Mario needs is one little combo strength just to get ahead of steam there. Fortune disadvantage and rinse and repeat. See it? No. Forward air. Get off of me. Anti. How can he recover? Neutral air. Tossing out them hips. No. Tossing out that frying pan. Four back airs right now. Is that enough? Yep. Okay. That'll I, do it. That was pretty strong. I actually thought he was still good for the moment. But Ling Ling making those adjustments. One of the most notable ones. The fact that he opted to go to Final Destination. Yeah. As I said, I really was surprised that that one got past the banning phase. I suppose that Anti, if, if I'm like thinking from Anti's side, Lilat probably was, is really bad for this matchup. Yes, Mario gets the combo extensions, but Peach controls so much space underneath platforms that approaching can be a nightmare. Um, and then what would the other band be, though? Like Town or Kalos, maybe? It could also be Unova, just because it isn't a stage that's legal in most areas. So could I be. know when I do, for example, if I go to an event and it's an unfamiliar stage, I ban it just because I don't want to learn the stage on the fly. True. That might actually be that might be the move right there. To say I don't want to deal with the nonsense here. I know that there's going to be some jank that's going to kill me at zero. So let's uh, let's take that yeah, off the table. We're out. So now it's anti's counter pick. I mean, Battlefield is the ban against every single Mario. Like seriously, chat. All you need to do against Mario to like improve your matchup is to ban Battlefield. I love Battlefield. Against Mario though? I don't like Yoshi's I'm cool Battlefield. Really, that's interesting. I like I've never actually had a Battlefield match in bracket where I have not laddered something. 
It's really? so consistent with Mario and so easy. Like it's it's it's, it's funny. Ridiculous. I played a player named Ninja. He uses Mario. Um, I was at a PA tournament. Battlefield. I never got ladder. We went to is it Yoshi Story the one that has the three platforms? Yes. We went to Yoshi Story. He three stocked me, and he literally touched death me back to back to back. Yep, I've done that before. But it happened on Yoshi Story. It didn't happen on Battlefield. Yoshi Story is really really good actually. And you know what else might be really really good here is that we've got a changeover from Anti. No more Mario. We're on to Lucario. Mm. Like if I'm gonna play from behind, I'm gonna do it with a little more umph. Exactly. Can you hear? You know Lucario? That deep voice. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, this character is like the audio for Lucario is amazing. Not only do you have the big meaty boobs where you just you feel it in your bones when he knocks it out, you get the buzz saw with neutral B. The minute this man's at like 110, he starts charging it. I am terrified. Well, he's at 121 right now. Ling Ling doesn't look afraid at all though at the moment. Yeah, but this is when Lucario makes the characters money. Like, look at that. That forward smash clearing off full stage control for Anti. One hit, oh, and you're dead no. almost. Listen to that buzzsaw going. Charge it's it up. Hi. Yeah, you, you need to kill. You need to finish your meal right here, my man. Look you at him waiting. Oh, my God. That is so smart. Wall cling. Wall clinging to waste out the invincibility, then up being to the ledge. Very intelligent. All right, tossing out these back airs is Ling Ling just trying to get something going here, but Anti doing a very good job avoiding them until I bring it up. Commentator's curious. You believe in it? Is it your fault if Anti loses right now? Can he watch his bod and blame you? Yo, you might be right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you know, both on two stocks. Anti has a lead by about 52%, but that is nothing for a Peach main. They can get, just look at your wrong and really start one of their beautiful combo strings up. So I'm liking the patience shown by Anti on Kalos. This is obviously a bigger stage, and you can basically try to avoid these Twitch click combos by Peach by just backing off and saying, you come to me, tossing out a few of those projectiles. The minute Ling, Ling actually gets in, though, and that's when the problem started. Smart. So Anti keeps starting the charge on it. If it doesn't connect right away, he basically leaves because he knows you're going to do a legend get up option. He tries to listen to it. That side B, that will just about do it. Force Ling Ling as high as possible. Great DI there. Neutral B will not take it. Great shield again on platform, but that shield's getting a little bit tiny, my man. I don't think you can take another one. Yeah, it's, it, it was small. Ling Ling getting a chance to charge it up a little bit more. Whoever gets this first block is going to be such a good position. Oh, yeah. Oh, the weak hit of neutral air. Can't connect with the forward air either. Up smash a little bit wild call out, though. Toss him off stage. What we got? That's a re-grab. No punish, though. But the neutral be on the float back in. Not quite going to take it. Peach, Peach is a heavy. Okay, but what about Not this? the second one, though. I get the second bullet in the chamber in case you forget. All right, Anti at his point where his character is the strongest. Almost max rage, almost max aura. Up by one stock. Ling Ling has to do his best not to get hit by any of the wild nonsense that Lucario can toss out. They're already a quick 13. Oh, no miss, but go unpunished. And Ling Ling. Woo! That was right back up. That was clean. All right. We're going to be reversed. And whoever does lose this is indeed out of the tournament. This is losers? Unless my, unless my eyes are deceiving me. Or that could just be the letter. Yeah, it's L210, so I think this is winners of pool L. Still maybe winners. Right my apologies. All right, caught the turn up and then tries to land with a neutral air. Can't quite get it though. 62%. Lucario is starting to get the aura he needs to get this damage and get this kill. Literally, really doing a great job playing neutral here, but forced off stage. What does Anti have? Ooh, that was such a good option from Ling Ling. Drop down up air, so smart. And floated it, I believe. And Ling Ling definitely turning it up, but you have to finish Anti now, though. The aura is strong with this one right now, 118. You know, a back air might actually take the stock if Anti finds it. Forward smash or side B, we're looking for any of these strong moves. And Ling Ling clearly got? wanting a forward air. Shield poked. Whoop. Oh my. Yeah, there's next to no lag on that if you land with the right. Listen to the buzzsaw going, all right. Back air. Surprise Anti isn't shooting more of them. He's been so good at finding openings for it. His horror spears. Oh my god, are you dead? What a frame trap by Anti, but that won't finish it up. Neutral B, but he, he tosses him in the wrong direction. 
Tried to punish Ling Ling side B. Apparently there's only a six frame window, and is that it? It oh, is. That's so unfortunate for Anti. He had the call out with the neutral beat on the left side of the stage, fires it in the wrong direction. Ling Ling responds. You cannot give a player like Ling Ling a second lease on life. Can't. You have to finish your plate, especially at Ooh. this level of